Welcome to another video. So, Klein just got some new upgrades, and I wanted to talk about them. Now, what are these upgrades? Well, after the last video I did, there has been just one major upgrade, and it is quite big, actually. So, this update now adds a new thing called MCP Marketplace. This is basically what it sounds like. It's a marketplace that allows you to add MCP tools. If you don't know what MCP is, then it's an abbreviation for Model Context Protocol. It's made by Anthropic, and it is an open source protocol that allows you to implement your own custom tools in the AI interface that you're using, whether it be a chat interface, or in this case, Klein. There are a bunch of MCP servers that you can find, and previously in Klein, you could also add MCP tools. But it wasn't as easy because you had to deal with JSON files and whatnot. However, now it's super easy to do that, and it makes Klein even more customizable, which is quite amazing to see. It looks something like this, which you can see here. So, this is great. They say that you can now discover and install the best MCP servers right from within the extension with new servers added regularly by the client team. The next one is Mermaid Diagram Support. So, in the plan mode, it can now make diagrams as well. Yes, you can now see flowcharts, maps, sequence diagrams, and more right in chat and click on them to see an expanded view. This is really good, as it allows you to have a more in-depth view of the plan that the architect makes. You also have some new options to use as well, like new Git to reference the current working changes or specific commits. You can also now mention Terminal to reference the active terminal's contents. There's also a new Checkpoints UX to easily see when checkpoints are created, which is also quite great to see. You can also now send a message when hitting Approve or when toggling from Plan to Act mode. There's also a new advanced setting to disable the Browse tool, and there's also improved support for AWS Bedrock profiles, along with the ability to set custom model configurations for open AI-compatible models, such as Context Window, Max Output, Price, etc. It also fixed Mistral provider issues, which is also great to see. It has also added Alibaba Quen 2.5 coder models VL models, and DeepSeek R 1-slash-V3 support, which is also great to see. So, let's test it out, and let's see how all the new features work in action. We can just open up VS Code, and then here, just go to Extension, and get Klein upgraded to the latest version. Once you have done that, we can just open it up, and now let me first show you the MCP Marketplace itself. You'll just need to click this new icon here, and it will open up this page. Here, you can see a ton of MCP servers that you can directly add to your configuration. There are a bunch of them, like there's this Notion one, the GitHub one, and much more. There are literally a lot of them. To install one, like this Git one, then we'll need to just hit this Install button, and what it does is quite simple. It actually just prompts Klein itself to implement this MCP server. So, if some MCP requires some credentials or something, then you can just give them in a chat-like interface, and it can just get that set up for you as well, which is great to see. You can still add MCP servers yourself by going to the MCP settings file and just adding them there, which is also great. And you can also set up stuff there accordingly, which is also pretty cool. Now, another thing is that it can now create diagrams. So for example, if I go here, then get in the plan mode, and now if I ask it for a plan, and also ask it to make me a diagram, then you'll see that it will first create the plan as required. And if we wait a bit, then you'll see that it now makes a diagram here, and we can just have a look at it or we can also expand it and stuff like that, which is quite great to see, as it gives you a more robust look 
into the architecture and everything like that. But, apart from this, we have some other stuff as well. So, now, in Klein, we can just mention two more things. One is the git commits, and the other one is the terminal output. We can just hit the at symbol here, then mention git, and then we can select any comments that we have made in the commit history. And it will take the context of that commit and the files that you had changed in it, and it will try to do whatever task you ask it to do, which is quite great to see. We can also now ask it to reference the output of your terminal as well. So, for example, if you run a command in the terminal and it gives you an output that you don't recognize and want to get fixed quickly, then you can just reference the terminal tag here and ask it to check what's happening and get that fixed immediately, which is quite good to see. Previously, it could only run terminal commands, but now it can also reference them here, which is great to see. Some more stuff about it is that if you use O3 Mini, then you can now set the reasoning effort in the advanced settings to high, low, medium, or whatever is available. So, that's also good if you use it. I have been using it because it is a good model and is also lower cost than Sonnet, while offering similar or better answers in most cases. However, the diff edit format fails sometimes with that model. So, there's that. You can now also type your prompt in the prompt box. And then after that, if you change the mode from something like plan to act, then it will automatically take that prompt in and proceed with the mode change. This means that if you want to mention something without wasting a whole prompt on it, then you can just put it in and then change the mode accordingly, which is quite good. So, that's super good to see. The MCP marketplace is actually quite good, and it makes Klein more customizable to your own workflow and super easy to set up and use, which is pretty good to see. So, this is quite amazing to use. I think these upgrades are good, although I think that this will make Klein a lot heavier to use. And although it's great, I won't be using it as much because getting AI to code is already a challenge and MCP servers make it a bit more tedious for AI to catch up. But this is great to see for those who want to take advantage of it. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!